Hey everyone, it's Andy from Handlebar Jack. And before we dive into today's topic, I wanna to say that this video is not sponsored. It's just me sharing my honest thoughts and insights with all of you. And if you find the content valuable and enjoy what I do, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel. Your support motivates me to create more videos like these. And hey, if you have any nice things to say, put them in the comments, it totally makes my day. Okay. Let's get into the pros and cons of getting your e-bike from a local bike store versus buying it online. And if you still don't know what style of e-bike you wanna get, check out my e-bike overview from the link above. First up, local bike shops. There's a lot to love about getting an e-bike from a local shop. First off, you get personalized attention from experts who really know their stuff. These folks are there to answer your questions, help you find the right e-bike for your needs, and ensure that the bike you choose fits you perfectly. It's like having your own personal e-bike tailor. Another big plus of going local is the chance to take an e-bike for a test ride. You get a feel for how the e-bike handles and the overall ride quality. This hands-on experience can make you feel a lot more confident about your buying decision. Plus, local bike shops usually offer after-sale support, maintenance, repair services. If you need tweaks, upgrades, or if your e-bike is acting up, you've got the experts right there, ready to help. But we've gotta be fair and talk about the flip side too. Shopping at a local bike store can sometimes mean higher prices. These stores have overhead that make their prices a bit steeper. So if you're pinching pennies, it's something to keep in mind. Then there's the issue of variety. Local bike shops can only stock so many e-bikes, so their selection might not be as extensive as what you'd find online. And if you've got your heart set on a particular brand or model or style, you might need to compromise or wait for a special order. Let's not forget one big point, supporting local businesses. When you buy from a local bike shop, you're not just getting an e-bike, you're helping keep your local economy thriving and you're supporting your local cycling community. Next, we're going to dive into the world of online e-bike shopping. Now I know what you're thinking, Andy, I like going to my local bike shop. Why would I want to shop online? Well, we're going to break it down and see how it could actually be a good move. When you shop for an e-bike online, it's like walking into a candy store. You've got brands upon brands, styles upon styles, and features that can make your head spin. The internet offers way more variety in styles and price points. Online shopping's major perk is convenience. From your cozy armchair, you can compare e-bikes, delve into reviews, scrutinize specifications, no salespeople, no time pressure, just you, YouTube, and your favorite search engine is all you need. Online retailers are often on the cutting edge of e-bike tech. And more often than not, the online retailers are also the e-bike manufacturers. They offer you the latest models and styles hot off the production line. And if you're a tech geek like me and love the bleeding edge, Online shopping can be your gateway to the best e-bike tech available. If you don't live in a big city or your community doesn't have a bike shop that carries e-bikes, then online is a perfect match. Now, let's talk money. Those online retailers are pretty savvy and most of them don't have storefronts or shops with all the overhead and they're moving products in larger quantities. All these savings trickle down to you, the customer. This means that you could snag an e-bike deal that leaves local bike shops in the dust. However, everything has a catch, right? And when you buy an e-bike online, be ready to channel your inner handyman. Setting up a new ride involves assembling some bits and pieces. It's not rocket science. You'll need to attach the handlebars in the front wheel and the basic tools are in the box. Just bring your own elbow grease. Now here's a biggie, post-purchase service. Your local bike shop is a gold mine of knowledge and service, whereas online, it's a bit more of a scavenger hunt. You need a quick repair or adjustment, you might end up hunting through some forums, YouTube tutorials, or seeking out a local mechanic who's down to repairing e-bikes. Most shops these days will only repair e-bikes that they sell for liability reasons. The e-bike world is evolving, and new businesses are springing up like David Spaulding's Pedalworks Mobile, Velofix, Mr. Ed's Mobile Bike Repair, just to name a few. And these innovative folks are offering services like bike assembly, maintenance, repairs, all from the comfort of your home. It's a win-win. You get the convenience and price perks of online shopping, plus the professional support when you need it. Talk about leveling up the game. 
Now you're asking, Andy, can I just buy an e-bike on Amazon? And the answer is yes, of course you can, but it's also a mixed bag. Amazon is a marketplace, so you could be buying an e-bike directly from Amazon, or buying an e-bike from an established manufacturer that has set up a virtual storefront, or even some smaller shops that are looking to compete online. My biggest advice with purchasing an e-bike on Amazon is to look at the seller, look at the seller's ratings, and ultimately, you get what you pay for. Another consideration, no matter where you buy, is the warranty and return policy. Local bike shops often provide warranty coverage and a hassle-free return process. If you encounter any defects or need to exchange the bike, they can assist you promptly. Online retailers may have varying warranty terms and returning an e-bike can be more complicated due to shipping logistics and potential restocking fees. Okay, it's time to wrap it up. We've been talking about the pros and cons of buying an e-bike from a local shop or online. And if you're asking my two cents, I don't think you can really lose. At the end of the day, it's up to you to figure out which of these pros and cons match up with your needs. And either way, I'm sure you'll make a great decision. No matter which route you choose, remember, research your brand and the model, read customer reviews, and understand the warranty and return policies of, of wherever you decide to buy an e-bike. And hit me up in the comments if you have any questions or want to add anything to this conversation. See you next time.